of time trying to dial in my organ sound. John Lord has always been the tone for me. I mean, that's a ballsy, killer tone. When I toured with him, it was on the Dream Theater. It was like 96 or 97, something like that. It was Dream Theater, uh, ELP, and Deep Purple, which was really cool. I remember uh, before Soundcheck, they'd have all the, the risers backstage, and mine was in the middle. And then they had, on the left was Keith Emerson's riser with his whole gear, and then on the right was John Lord. And I just remember at the time pinching myself going, holy shit, this is pretty fucking cool. <laughs> when I first started doing the tone search that I read that John Lord was using Marshalls. Instead of a Leslie, he was going through a Marshall half stack and it's B3, so I go, I wanna try that too. And at the time I was playing with Joe Bonamassa and he goes, here, take these heads. So he loaned me like five different heads from the early plexis to like some of the newer ones. And I anxiously wanted to try all of them out. I wanted to find that holy grail killer amp. The amps were too high gain and it just didn't sound good. And so I told Joe, I gave him back his amps and he suggested that I try a lower gain amp like the Fender Showman. It was a big difference from the amp that was inside of the Leslie. So we disabled the Leslie amp and then used the Showman to fuel the uh, speakers. That was a lot better, but because I'm playing now a lot louder, I kept blowing speakers like crazy. I constantly uh, had to send my lessons in for servicing to Luke Jones at, at Custom Vintage. Derek, we have had quite the journey with Derek. He um, has been searching for the sound that suits his needs, which has been a, uh, it's been a journey. Derek was actually having problems because he had been using bigger and bigger and bigger amps and of course, bigger and bigger amps need bigger and bigger and bigger speakers. Um, he blew up the Jensen speakers that he came with uh, from, I guess, what uh, he originally just tried a few different amps with it uh, and had used Marshalls and Fenders and uh, he did settle on the Fender Showman's blackface for a while, which did sound really good. Um, but as per normal, Derek was pushing it maybe a little bit hard and ended up blowing them, you know, blowing those up too, <laughs> and then also blowing speakers up, which is why we ended up changing out to vintage JBLs, and just to be able to take some extra punishment. He's got a 2482 in the top horn driver, and he's got an LE15 in the bottom. There is actually a switching filter uh, fil inside this, and as you can see, there's power supply, there's an IEC there, and there's a foot switch to run off it, and a power switch. This is his speaker out, so you can plug your guitar head right into it. Um, and he actually had a this cap to cap switch is just so he could hook up multiple Leslie's together to make all of the horns spin switch at the same time. Um, and we're actually changing that again so that he can have a different separated kit for each Leslie so they all run individually, but we're gonna have devised a way to make them switch all exactly the same time because that's just how it should be. Frustrated with his tone as far as the, uh, the Leslie's go, he was using Fender Showman's at the time and the headroom was not there at all. So we came across Marshall plat Platform for the looks and um, we utilized bigger transformers, bigger output section to give him a headroom because in Derek Sound, Leslie does not need a headroom but uh, B3 over here uh, has a lot of gain by itself, so we were able to dial down the gain 
and boost up the power section. So it became like a massive power amp in a in a sense. <laughs> Uh, Schaefer replica. I'm not sure exactly what it is or what it does, but it is the uh, secret sauce. It's totally killer and it's inside of the B3 and the mods are here which control the input and output. I'm a great fan of Doug Sherinian. At the time he was looking for uh, means and ways to uh, empower his sound in even unknown ways at the time. So he was willing to experiment with a shader replica, and and he did, and uh, he was happy with it. And of course, I was probably happier than him. This is with the old tower. tower in, 